What's going on guys, it's Jake here and today we are making a wooden Game Boy for wood from beat-em-ups. About a month ago, I made a Game Boy for Austin Evans that was full of today's tech. I had to fill it up with features for the number one tech tips guy, but this time I'm not going to focus on the tech as much. I just don't want to do the same thing for every one of these. Don't you worry though, we're still going to be modding this one, but more on that later. Woodhawker, awesome name by the way, is one of my favorite creators on YouTube. I've only been watching him for about a year now, but it feels like a lot longer because I kind of binge watched his entire backlog of videos once I found his channel. Wood is a really talented creator that always works hard to make the best content he can make. There's never a dull moment in his videos. While I don't know him personally, he just seems like the nicest guy on earth and definitely someone you want to be friends with. And those are just some of the reasons why I want to give him this Game Boy. Unlike last time, I was not able to get in contact with Wood before making this. I did try to reach out a few different ways, but no success. My email tends to end up in spam a lot, so for my ego's sake, we'll just say it got lost in spam. But that's alright because this Game Boy is a gift to him and he's got a P.O. box. I was just hoping I could get his input on what he wanted for the design. And since I couldn't get into contact with him, he has no idea I'm doing this. So if you could please like this video, or share it with a friend, or even retweet the tweet I tag him in, I would very much appreciate it. But enough story time, let's get to modding. For this build, we are going to go with the DMG like last time. It's one of my favorite models and probably my favorite to mod. Now that it's all taken apart, all we need is the speaker and the back PCB. The IPS display mod kit comes with a brand new front PCB making this mod super easy. After soldering the speaker onto the new PCB, we just have to plug in some ribbon cables. But first, let's grab our new shell. I went with an all black shell with black buttons. After trimming a few posts off the shell, we can start putting everything together. And boom, the Game Boy's modded. Some of you may be thinking, that's it? None of this is even wood. Don't worry, I'm not done. I reached out to Rose Colored Gaming to help me complete this build. If you don't know, Rose Colored Gaming makes acrylic stands and wood veneers for almost all your favorite consoles and handhelds. And thanks to them, I was able to make a wood Game Boy for Wood Hawker. I'm sorry, Wood, if you're tired of all the wood puns and stuff like that, but you gotta admit, this is sick. This turned out even better than I thought it would. And since I know you love Zelda, I asked them to modify one of their beautiful Zelda acrylic stands just for you. 
If you're new to this channel and or don't know anything about Game Boy modding, let me explain what I did to Woods Game Boy. In the original Game Boy from 1989, the screen was not backlit so you had to rely on external light sources just to see your game. Instead of adjusting the brightness, you adjusted the contrast so you could see better depending on the lighting. What I've done here is swapped out the screen with an IPS display that is a million times better. While the original display is nostalgic, the new screen can change colors, has a sharper image, and has a brightness wheel in place of the contrast wheel. Let me also make this clear that this is not an emulator. This is real Game Boy hardware playing real Game Boy games. All I did here was take legit Nintendo hardware and slap a high quality display in it. This screen is exactly like most of the screens of today. There's a good chance you're watching it on the same type of display. I am so happy with how all of this turned out. And I owe a huge thank you to Rose Color Gaming. This is not sponsored, they just sent me these for free because I reached out to them. They make wood veneers out of real wood and precise cut acrylic stands for almost every console and handheld. Please check out all the cool things they have for sale at the link down below. So Wood, if you're watching this, thank you for all that you do. You quickly became one of my favorite channels on all of YouTube, and this is my gift to you. Here is another mod that Nintendo probably won't like that you have. I'll be sending this out to your PO box after I get a million pictures and clips of it. I really hope you like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please hair flip. I don't have much hair to flip over that like button. Or if you don't have much hair like me, just listen to Britney. In the comments down below, let me know who else you want me to make a Game Boy for. If you're a YouTuber and you want one, don't be afraid to reach out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. My new goal for the end of the year is 25k. And I guess this is where I'll announce that I made a Patreon. I always feel awkward asking for money, but these videos can get pretty expensive sometimes. So if you want to financially support me and the channel, I ask that you check out my Patreon. If you become a patron, you'll get exclusive early access to info about my future projects, as well as help me decide on what I'm doing by voting on different things. I haven't ironed out all the details yet, but hopefully I'll have it all figured out by the time this video goes up. You don't have to spend any money to support me though. The best way is always just to watch my videos videos and make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to follow me everywhere else. All the important links will be in the description down below. Again, thank you to Rose Colored Gaming. Please go check them out. I wish I could talk about them more because they really are amazing people. But that's going to be it for me, so I will see you guys in the next one. Later guys. If you never made it this far in one of my videos, I make post credit scenes that are usually just bloopers. I need to burp. <laughs> okay, we're done.